So Connor McDavid's in the news today for his hit on uh, Adrian Kempe in the uh, Oilers' 5-1 to loss against the Kings. Um, he was given a five-minute major in game misconduct. We'll see if there's any further discipline handed out. We'll see what happens. He, he did get a two, what was it, a two-game suspension in 2019, I believe it was, um, for a couple of games. So it's possible it happens again, but we'll wait and see what happens. But obviously, if he goes out, that's going to be a tremendous loss for the Oilers. But I don't think, even if he does get suspended, I think it would only be for a couple games, so it wouldn't be anything super long-term. But it was a really close game when it happened. It was 2-1. to one. I think there was like 13 minutes to go. It's a five-minute five minute penalty. They score three goals on that, on that uh, ensuing power play. So the Kings are up 2-1. to one. They end up being 5-1 to one after the power play. That's the way the game finished. Um, so the floodgates really opened when, when that hit, hit took place. It was, it was all over after that. So yeah, so so the Oilers lose five to one. Miko Koskinen doesn't get his thirteenth win. He's stuck at twelve wins for the time being. Um, so yeah, that was too bad because obviously I have Miko Koskinen. He lost me three fantasy points last night, which actually wasn't crazy considering. I mean, he had a lot of saves last night, so it wasn't that bad. Um, but hey, the Blackhawks they beat the Islanders three to two in a shootout, so it means I finally get a win from Mark Andre Fleury. Yay! How about that, huh? I finally get a win after drafting them right in the beginning of the year, getting rid of them, now bringing them back. Finally get that first win. So that's fantastic. I'll take it. Um, but if you if you saw the game, the Islanders scored with like two seconds left, I think it was, or something, with a man with a man advantage because they pulled the goalie, obviously. Two seconds left, they scored. I was a little tiny worried about that. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit more than tiny worried about that, but. Anyway, so they went in a shootout. Patrick Kane scores the goal in the shootout to win it. So, yeah, hey, I'll, I'll take the win, man. Anything I can get. Um, but, yeah, the Islanders, man, they've lost, what is it, 11 straight games now? Um, man, I just, maybe it's the curse of that new building. I mean, I had the little Marc-Andre Fleury curse for a while because I couldn't win a game with him, especially how he started out in the beginning of the year. Now the Islanders, how, how many games did they have on the road? Ten? 15, 13, whatever it was. And now they go home. They've had six games, six games at home. They've been outscored 18 to six at home in six games. So yeah, that's, that's not good. That's not good again. So, uh, but if you, I suppose if you're looking for a silver lining, they did up their uh, goals for per game to 1.9 now. And they improved, they actually scored on a power play too. So they actually improved their power play percentage to what was it 14.3 percent hey at least it's not last right and the goals four isn't last either that's 31st in the league say hello to arizona 1.79 how about that so if you're looking for silver lining i guess you have that um what else is going on vancouver canucks finally fired their coach travis green and their gm jim benning they've been wanting to do that or the, at least the fans wanted that to happen for a long time um so, yeah, so that's good that they got that done. Boudreaux, Bruce Boudreaux, is now uh, now the hire. He's going to be the coach for at least this season. I think he signed for a two-year deal, so this season and next. We'll see how, how he does. But, you know, he's coaching 984 games in the NHL record of 567, 302, and 115. He's coached for the Capitals, Ducks, and, Ducks, and most recently the Wild. He's had tremendous success in the regular season. He had, what was it, four straight uh, division titles for Washington, uh, four straight division titles for the Ducks. He didn't win a division for, for the Wild, but he did go to the playoffs uh, the first two years, I think it was, when he was there. Tremendous success in the regular season. He's 43 and 47 in the playoffs. He's went to one conference finals, no Stanley Cup finals appearances. Um, and I think with the Wild, he actually lost in the first round two years in a row. So, but he's had a regular season success, no problem, but playoffs, uh, no dice. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, maybe Quinn Hughes will have another force this night. Wouldn't that be nice? And he was on my bench when he did it the other night. So I'm starting him tonight. They play LA. So, Hey, let's, let's see what happens. Uh, also have Troy Terry, Jack Hughes, and Alex Ovechkin going for me tonight. Um, there's just six games today. 
New Jersey does play Ottawa. So that could be something. Um, you know, maybe Hughes can uh, score another goal, maybe a couple, you know. We'll see. Um, that would be nice. Um, but, yeah, of course, Ottawa's actually won a couple in a row. So who knows? Maybe it'll be held scoreless, and they'll beat New Jersey too. They beat, they beat Colorado um, in their last game, and they beat Carolina the game before that. So who knows? You know, you think Ottawa's struggling, and then all of a sudden they win a couple games in a row. Maybe they beat New Jersey tonight. Now all of a sudden, hey, maybe they're not so bad as, as people were thinking they were. So, But, yeah, so hopefully – you know, at least even if they, even if New Jersey loses, maybe he scores a goal, get an assist, something. That'd be great. Awesome. I'll take it. So uh, that'll do it for me. Uh, thanks for watching again and uh, enjoy the games tonight. We'll see you.